Beta 85 Pro 2 from Beta FPV, and as you saw in the intro, this is probably one, if not the only, whoop style little micro here that can do the Matty flip, and that's the basically the the test that I use to determine whether or not I would recommend something like this as an acro flyer, and this is uh, probably the first one that I'm going to recommend as one that you can actually do acro tricks with. Sure, there's probably plenty of videos out there saying that they could do acro tricks with something similar to this, um, limited to flips and rolls and maybe some S, you know, split S's, something like that, but the, the thing that can determine whether or not this is really an acro machine is whether you can do power loops and whether you can do matty flips. And if we can't do that, then I basically tell people, don't get this for acro, unless you just want to be doing flips and rolls, and that's, that, and of course, pretty much any one of these ducted drones can do that. And that's the reason why um, this uh, most of these fail in acro is because when you do the power loops or the mani flips, when you put, when you get out of it, uh, some sort of a dive, you get the yaw washout where it gets out of the thing and then does this rapid yaw spin at the very end, or at at worst it could just crash into the ground. And this one can do that no problem. It was able to do several mani flips and power loops and it's very fast, very maneuverable. The reason it can do that is because of the power to weight ratio. So it's got plenty of power and it weighs very, very little. I mean, this is really stripped down. So it's got the 1103 motors, of course. All right, so it's got the 1103, 11,000 kV motors. It's coming with the single uh, flight controller all one EC, which is actually the 5 amp version with the F4 on there. And it's got a little like whoop style micro camera and small video transmitter. No screws for the props here. In fact, the motor, as you can see, does not even have the screw holes for the prop. So this is the downside to this model is that the, as you can see, I'm, I lost a prop here. If you bump anything, crash, it will just um, throw the prop and it's gone at that point. I lost, my, it's very easy to lose. So. Um, that is one of the downsides of this. Now you can uh, do the dental floss trick and basically put some floss in the hole there so that it uh, eats up a little bit of space between the prop and the shaft and gives a little bit more grip. Um, I didn't do that because uh, I just wanted to see how what would happen if I just flew it exactly the way it came out of the box without any changes and this is what will happen if um, you do that. So you will have to do the dental floss trick. If you don't know what that is, let me know in the comments below. Um, maybe I'll make a video if enough people ask me. Uh, but it's pretty simple. Just do what I described. A little dental floss there on top of the shaft and in the hole so that it will basically grip the prop shaft a little better and that should help. I haven't actually done it so can't tell you for sure but in most situations in the past where I've done that it does help a lot. The second downside to this model is uh, the camera is just basically really loose in here and it will just move around and I actually put some foam inside here to basically uh, secure the camera so it doesn't move around and cause a lot of jello. So this is essentially what I did inside here. I have a couple pieces of foam as you can see here and this little mount that it comes with, it's like a, made out of some sort of a flexible rubber silicone material. It's very flexible so without the foam there pressing down holding the camera in place you get a lot of jello vibration but with that with this in here in place it does seem to prevent the jello at least mm, somewhat minimize it it's not totally gone but it's definitely better than without that there okay so let's show you the weight of this I'm going to throw up another prop here this is the same one just not blue and we're coming in at 42 and a half grams. And this is the reason why um, it can do all, all the tricks that you can want to do with this because it has a very low weight and um, the two inch prop has a lot of power. And so basically the power to the rate ratio is really high for this one. And it can basically overcome the, the aerodynamic forces of the ducks causing that yaw washout. That's my theory at least. And, and basically if you have any other whoop that, you know, Maybe it's not a three inch whip or whatever, but if it's, if it's pretty light and the power of the weight ratio is high, it can probably still do these same tricks here, assuming that it can overcome, the power can overcome the aerodynamic effects of the duct. Okay, so another thing worth noting, 
in addition to the weight of the drone is the weight of the battery as well. This is the one that was sent along with the drone. I don't think this comes with it. You have to buy it separately, but obviously it's a beta FPV battery. It's pretty similar to the, uh, the Turnergy Nanotech batteries, I think. So it's regular. It's not a high volt, and mm, I think you get about three minutes of flight time. Pretty hard flying. So 42 and a half grams there, and then with this battery, it's total about 60 and a half grams. And just the battery by itself is coming in at 17.9 grams. So yeah, this is the battery that they're recommending that you get. So I'll also link that down in the description. Also, uh, something of this size and weight. And of course, this is because of the KV of the motor. This is limited to 2S only. Also, I think the flight controller ESCs are also only limited to 2S. So I wouldn't go beyond that. Otherwise, you'd probably fry something. Anyway, so that's going to do it for this video. So basically, if you're looking for... Uh, one of these brushless whoops here that can do acro. This is probably the only one that I could recommend. Um, obviously there's probably some uh, custom builds or DIY builds you could probably put together. I'm sure there's plenty of them out there. But this is, I think, the first one I've seen that you can buy off the shelf, ready to go. Pids and everything. Um, didn't have to do anything, just bound it and uh, flew it. And I think you see from the uh, previous clips that, yeah, it can do Matty flips and power loops, not a problem. So if you're looking for that, this is the one I would recommend. Just make sure you do the dental floss trick to make sure that the pops don't fly off. And yeah, this was going to be a good model. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.